Greetings, calculus students. This is Mr. Myring talking to you about uh, sum and sequence commands. Our first uh, unit for, our first section for our unit on series uh, asks us to work with the sum and sequence as we talked about what those things are. Um, you know, just how to do that in a graphing calculator because it makes your job a little bit easier uh, for when you're adding all those things up. So, you know, I'll talk about this in context of exploration 12 2. This is your homework. Um, and, you know, one of the questions as you do these problems with the drug dosage, uh, one of these questions comes down here and it asks you to add up these first five terms. So 30 plus 30 times 0.9 plus 30 times 0.9 squared, et cetera, et cetera. And so this isn't too difficult to do by hand or in your calculator, but you can imagine if you had to do uh, 10 terms or 20 terms as you will be asked to later, uh, that becomes a uh, little tedious in your work. So. Uh, question three says you can use the sum and sequence commands on your grapher or your calculator to compute these partial sums of any series. So I just want to quickly talk to you about how to do that in the calculator. So where you find those things is actually in the list command on your calculator, which we pretty rarely use, but um, it's right here in your, under your stat or in the second button for your stat button. And so if you hit second stat, it brings you over here to names, operations, and math. We're actually going to move over to math first to uh, look at number five, which is the sum. So we go down to number five, select that, and then we're going to do this. So this is, this is the sum of all parts that you list next. So, I mean, we te technically could type in a bunch of numbers here and the calculator would add it all up for us, but that's not really the point here. So you're going to hit second list again, now you're going to go into the operations menu. So you move over to operations and down to number five again and it says SEQ for sequence. So you hit enter again. So there's a little bit of syntax for writing this in your calculator and there's a, the newer operating system is a little bit nicer and I'll show you that in a second. But so you're going to do the sum of all parts of the sequence. And so now we're going to type in the expression for what our sequence was. So uh, for this work on this particular problem, the expression was 30 times 0.9 to the n. So as I write that in, so 30 times 0.9 all to the x. So we're going to use our variable x here. So the first thing you do is write in the expression. Then you're going to hit the comma button to separate. And then you're going to tell the calculator what variable to use. That should be familiar from some integrals and derivatives that we used to do with our calculator. And then you hit the comma button. And then it's going to be where you want, to, you want your variable to start and where you want your variable to end. So in this particular problem, we have 30 as our first term, which would be like uh, 0.9 to the 0. And we have 4 at the end, so that's 0.9 to the 4. So for this problem, we'll have uh, 0 as our first variable. And then we'll hit comma again. And then 4 as our last variable. So you close the parentheses, hit enter and it's going to add all those things for you, and so you get 122.853. So what it's technically doing is adding up all the terms of the sequence. So if I go through this and I delete the sum option, or the sum command, and I hit enter here, it lists out all of the terms of that sequence, 30, 27, 24.3, et cetera, et cetera. And so you can see that that would be nice if you have 10 terms or 20 terms or something. So the sequence command lists all those terms out, when you do the sum of the sequence, it automatically adds all those things to get your 122.853. So that's what the sum and sequence command is that it's referring to here. Real quickly, on the newer operating system calculator, you find the information in the same spot. I'm just going to do the sequence option, uh, sequence command rather. So if you hit the stat button, that's not what you want. You want to hit the list button, and you go over to operations and hit number five for sequence, it brings you to this menu, which is actually a lot nicer for you, because then you don't have to remember the commas and everything. But you type in your expression first, 30 times 0.9 to the x. Your variable is x, starting and ending. It has another part for step size of one. Um, we always use a step size for one, and so you don't actually have to type that in, because that's the um, implied step, I guess. Um, so if you have, enter all that stuff and go down to paste, and hit enter, it automatically uh, puts all that stuff into your format for you. But um, either way, it's going to look like that in the end as you type it, or if it does it for you, 
And when you hit enter, it's going to give you all those terms again. So um, just to recap, this is what it will essentially look like when you're finished. The sum is going to add up all of whatever you're putting in this parentheses. In that parentheses, we're going to do the sequence, sequence of all terms that look like this with this expression. Type that in. Whatever your variable is, which for us at the start is always going to be x, your beginning value of x, your final value of x, and it will do all that stuff for you. So hopefully uh, you find that helpful. Thank you.